Ken is going to answer our uh, couple of tech questions I'll today. try to. Well, you know you can do it. Come on. I didn't pull I'll anything it... too hard. All right. <laughs> so, so, Ken, the first question is, I'm getting ready to install a key 200.4 in a 2015 Chevy Equinox. Okay. Very common vehicle. Sure. Actually, isn't that what... Uh, Carlos. Carlos, is this yeah, a 2016? Pretty darn close. Pretty close. Okay. He's going to do bi-amp mode. Thank you, bi-amp mode. Uh, real quick, bi-amp mode means two amp channels are going to power the tweeters, two amp channels are going to power the mid-range, and this gives you all of what the key can do for you. So he's going to do it in bi-amp mode with no rear speakers at all. Okay. Here's the question. Should I run RCA cables to both front and rear, or amp one, amp two, inputs of the key, or can I just use one set of inputs? Also, should the fader switch be set on or off? Well, the answer is you can run just front inputs and then fader off. So fader off is going to be what I recommend, and then just run those two channels in. You only need front, left, and right because that's all you're really using with bi-amp mode. Um, but when you have fader off, that means you're going to get all four channels of audio out. So you just use the two channels in, and you'll get four channels out with audio, or excuse me, with fader off. Ernie, real quick, can you pull up my laptop again? Uh, I gotta keep you awake. So, just we talk about the key amplifier quite a bit, so I wanted to show you guys and girls what we're talking about. So, all these dip switches, now obviously this has been enlarged massively because this amplifier is really Not tiny. Not to scale. And, <laughs> yeah, oh, actually, yeah. pick that up real. So, it, it, if you've got eyes that are older than 25 years old, then you can't even see the end panel controls on this. So we always take pictures with our phone so we can zoom in and then we set the dip switches accordingly. So that's why this picture is zoomed in. But what we're talking about here for fader, this right here, fader control over here. So with the fader in the on position, the amplifier has to see front and rear input signal. Exactly. If you turn the fader off, then you don't need front and rear, just, just front. Right. The easy way to remember that is people know what fader does in your head unit, right? So as you fade the audio front and rear, so if you turn that ability off, you can't fade front or rear. So that's how I personally remember it, yeah. whether, you know, which on or off what that does. So when you have fader on, you have the fader ability. All kicker amplifiers, all uh, multi-channel amplifiers have a fader on-off switch. They do. And Many, many, many times we've gotten phone calls or emails, hey, I, what's the fader switch do? How do I use sure. it? I'm not getting enough input or whatever. That fader switch is just, it's so simple, but it confuses a lot of folks. It does. 